Hello TLS, Melanie Nelson here. I'm so excited that you've decided to do our seven day NutraClean kit. So make sure you grab it, uh, open it up, let all the goodies out, read the instructions, always a good idea. But let's talk about some detox preparation. First and foremost, clean out the closet, the fridge, the pantry of all the junk and garbage foods that you know you're not gonna be able to eat on detox week, but you know are really just not all that good for you anyway. Best not to eat them all. Uh, you can donate, throw out, those types of things. Definitely print off your seven day detox menu plan, which comes on the second page, your power foods. This is your grocery trip list, okay? So highlight all the foods you know you love, circle the ones that you would be willing to try and go grocery shopping, our rules, our tips, all here for you on our seven day detox so you are prepared all of that fun stuff uh definitely print off the tls detox recipe booklet because it is full of all kinds of items from breakfast to dressings to entrees uh foods that you can prepare that just are filling and energizing and delicious this is not a carrot stick and celery stick detox. You are gonna be eating real food and a lot of it. In fact, you get unlimited amount of vegetable servings. So you should never be hungry on our seven day detox. You might crave some things that you're not getting to eat, but you will not be hungry. The more we nourish the body, the more naturally it will cleanse. So we're going to nourish the body with high quality nutrient dense foods. Um, I also suggest if you're one of those people that really struggles with when do I take this and what time and how does the day work because detox is um, got some steps to it, you're going to want to download my favorite tracking sheet, which is actually from the jumpstart kit, the 30 day jumpstart kit and page one is detox week. Okay. And it goes through everything you need to take and when you need to take it, but maybe you're not doing the full on jumpstart kit. That's okay. Um, even if you're just doing the NutraClean Detox seven day, you are still uh, better off with that tracking sheet. Okay, so let's talk about how the day is gonna roll. Number one is your warm water and lemon. And yes, it does need to be warm. And yes, it does need to be a real lemon squeezed in there. And the reason is, is because it's very alkalizing for the body. It's very detoxifying for the digestive system, the cleaning the blood and the gallbladder and liver. And so we're starting the day off really in that powerful manner. Then you'll mix a scoop of our NutraClean fiber in I like room temperature, it mixes a little better, uh, about eight ounces of water and you'll drink that. It's about 10 grams of fiber and, a, and probiotics in here. So it's gonna be very, very supportive in the detoxing process. We do sell it in a bigger canister if you happen to love it and I love it. Um, and then you're going to take the release tablets. These are in the foil packet. Now release tablets are exactly that. They're gonna help you release. The average American is carrying about ooh, seven to 12 pounds of old fermenting fecal matter in their colon. Gross, right? And we want that out. So it's better out than in. We are gonna see an increase of bowel movements because we're increasing fiber, we're increasing water, and that's all very normal and that's what we want to have happen. But if you find that things are moving a little too fast, too fast uh, for comfort, then you can scale back on these morning ones, uh, meaning don't take them or take half dose. You may even want to start with half dose. Uh, these are quite powerful. Most people are not going to have any kind of problems or issues, but if you do find that things are happening a little too quickly and things are releasing a little too quickly um, and fluidly, then scale back on these morning release tablets. Okay, then you're ready for your breakfast. My tip for breakfast is always include vegetables. I know that's very strange for so many people to have vegetables during breakfast, but I promise you it's gonna set you up for success for less cravings throughout the day, a more filling morning where you're really, uh, you know, satiating the body first thing in the morning, alkalizing it as well uh, so that you're having the, the maximum results there in detox. Now, if you happen to be a sweet tooth or you crave sweets late at night, I'm always a big fan of saving that fruit serving from the morning until the evening so that when you have those 
cravings that you can satiate them with that piece of fruit. So that's just my personal tip for you. Um, you'll have lunch, dinner, you'll have your couple snacks in between. And again, if you find that you're just ravaged for uh, food that you would definitely increase your vegetable intake. Maybe you made a vegetable soup and you can have another bowl of that, those types of things. A uh, couple tips about our detox. Number one, lots of water, right? We can detox the body without a lot of water. And so we really want you to uh, achieve a hundred ounces of water, nothing less than 64. Um, you know, 80 is acceptable, but we're really looking at that hundred ounces of water a day to really flush out the body um, thoroughly during detox. Now, for those of you who are giving up caffeine, uh, if you are a big caffeine user, if you use it consistently in multiple different ways throughout the day, chances are you're going to have some caffeine withdrawals and those are real and they are uncomfortable. Uh, and so caffeine does block certain detox pathways, which is why it's part of the rules not to have caffeine in any form during the detox. Now, going cold turkey for someone who is um, very uh, heavy on the caffeine usage, it can be a little bit much. And so that's where our trim tea comes in or our trim cafe for those of you that I would consider our um, needing a little more. So this has about the average cup of black tea, uh, average amount of caffeine as a cup of black tea, and this as a, a small amount of caffeine for a, a cup of coffee. And so you're um, at least getting a healthy version of coffee or tea just to take the edge off, but you're getting all of the health benefits of African mango seed extract, which help in other ways throughout the detox. So that's if you absolutely need to take the edge off, but I know that many of you can do this. In fact, many people never go back to that one cup of coffee they have in the morning because they realize that they've energized their body naturally through this healthy lifestyle, okay? So remember that you're eating about every three to four hours. Do not skip meals, do not skip snacks. It is absolutely crucial that you're drinking water throughout the day, eating throughout the day, utilizing those power foods, the recipe booklet, etc. Now we do have, other supportive tools. Oh, by the way, in the evening after dinner, you're going to be taking the last little packet of pills from the NutraClean Detox, um, and that has two Hepata Cleanse uh, pills, and those are for the liver. We're really putting the liver on spa for a week, and so you wanna take that right before bed with a large uh, cup of water so that it, you're really working it through the system, supporting the liver through the night. It also has two more of the release tablets. Now you can't really tell them apart. <laughs> and so um, in that clear packet is four pills, but you don't know which ones are which. And so if you're gonna scale back on the release tablets, remember you're gonna scale back on them in the morning. All right, now, we are making a drastic change for most people to your eating habits and your lifestyle in a very short period of time here in detox. And so um, do expect to have some detox experiences, which means increased um, bowel movements, increased uh, trips to the bathroom to urinate. This is all normal. Um, you could be fatigued. There's usually a couple days where you're a little irritable maybe a little grouchy, that's also normal. Um, it's also normal to have a little bit of digestive disruption, maybe um, whether that's in the tummy or lower down. Uh, and depending on how committed you are and how uh, to being comfortable during the detox, we have other supporting uh, products that can be a great adjunct, especially if you've done the detox before and you're like, hey, I really didn't like that I got so gassy. Well, we have our digestive enzymes. It's normal if you're increasing your fiber and your vegetables, it's normal to get a little gassy. Your digestive system is adjusting to this new uh, way of eating. And so it doesn't happen overnight, but our digestive enzymes um, are just the biggest bang for your buck during detox week because 
you can take them at any time of the day with a meal, without a meal. I, I mean, it really doesn't, you can take as many calf bowls as you need or want. This is the key to digestive comfort. I feel in uh, the detox week. Uh, also very, very good for detox week and just daily support is our NutraClean probiotics or our probiotics 10. As we know, probiotics are a very important part of a healthy digestive tract. So why wouldn't we um, start replenishing our colon with healthy bacteria as we are getting rid of the junk? <laughs> and so for those of you who are not familiar, um, starting your day off with our daily essentials to give you all those vitamins, minerals, and uh, antioxidants for the day. If you're not already on those, we definitely recommend them for detox week, but really mainly for daily use after for sure. So those would be taken first thing in the morning, but even before your warm water and lemon, you would wait 20 minutes. Then you take your warm water and lemon, then your fiber, then your release tablets, then your breakfast. So it's quite the morning routine, but I promise you it's worth it. You will definitely shed some unwanted pounds. By the end of it, you are going to feel like a million bucks, you guys. It is absolutely a wonderful detox kit that you can uh, do uh, during life. <laughs> and so, but do keep in mind that you may wanna rest a little more uh, have more sleep, no strenuous exercise. You are allowing the body to heal itself. The energy needs to go into the detoxification and healing of the body, not into uh, the exercise uh, that you might be used to. And so you may find that um, you detox for even a few days after just naturally and normally a little bit of detoxification, but a lot of very fit and athletic people have found that detox helps their performance afterwards. So commit to the program and I promise you're gonna love the end result. You can do anything for seven days and we know you can do it, we're excited to see. So be sure to do your before measurements and your before pictures because you will be amazed at what can happen in seven short days.